Right. So the reason why this question, this this one's a little bit harder, is because not only do we have different denominators in most cases, that one's not a different denominator, but we also have mixed fractions. So that generally speaking, the trick is to add the whole numbers first, and then add the fractions next to it uh, afterwards. So in this case, we just start off by adding the whole numbers, so that five plus ten is fifteen. Then there's the, and then we set then we move these ones uh, to do next. So one eighth plus one sixteen, and then afterwards we use the same method as before. So we take the eighth, we turn it into over sixteen, which is two over sixteen. Now we've got the same denominator. We add the top numbers together, three over sixteen, and that's the answer for question one. Question two. Um, the fractions have got the same denominator, so they would just be um, 6 six over 8. Um, and then the, these two are just going to add together, so 13 plus 6 so, uh, and 6 over 8. And you can simplify that to 3 over 4. So I'm just going to do question 5 now. I'm going to zoom all the way in. I know you can't see that on your screen, but I'm going to zoom all the way in there and just work this one out stage by stage. So I'm going to add the numbers first, the 1 and the 11, so that's 11 plus, and I'm just going to rewrite out the fraction, so 3 quarters plus 9 over 16. And I want a common denominator. Now 16 is already um, a, a multiple of 4 anyway, so I can leave, I can make the denominator, denominator 16. And the second fraction will just stay as 9 over 16 because I've not done anything to it. To get to what the next one is, it's, oh, and I need to add the 11. To get the next one, it's um, going to be, well, 3 quarters, which is the same as, well, to get to the 16, I have to multiply the 4 by 4. So that's going to be 12. And so that's going to be 11. And then we're going to add the 12 and the 9, which is uh, oh, 20, 21 over 16. Now, this is a bit of a weird um, looking fraction, isn't it? Um, and the reason for that is because the if I'm doing a mixed mixed number, then I don't want a top heavy fraction. So what I do is I look at that 21 over 16 and I think how many if because the top number is higher than 16, then it's a top heavy fraction. Hang on a second. I've, um, I've, my notation is wrong there. Let me just try that. Do that again. Um, I want the pen, so it's equal to 11 and 21 over 16. And so that is equal to, so 21 over 16. Well, basically, um, that how if I subtract 16 from 21, how many what would I get? What would I get if I subtracted 21 from 16? Sorry, what would I get if I subtracted, uh, subtracted 16 from 21? Right, good. So basically I can take one of those, I can, I can turn that into a 12 and 5 over 16. And that's the answer. Okay.